gastrology, renowned for his clinical excellence and leadership. Dr. Reddy's achievements extend far beyond clinical expertise. He holds the distinction of being the first Asian president of the Harris County Medical Society in the U.S., showcasing his leadership talent on a global stage. He shared his video message for us. Let's hear that. Good morning, distinguished Dr. Sudhir Srivastava, Chairman and Managing Director of SSI Innovations, Chief Guests on the occasion, members of the organizing committee, guests of honor, and all the delegates who are participating. I thank Dr. Srivastava for giving me this opportunity to address this gathering at the Global Robotic Convention today. It's amazing in a country like India that we are able to host this conference or this convention, bringing in so many surgeons and physicians under one roof and talk about the future of robotics, the current status of robotics, in our country and what is happening. Dr. Srivastava is a good friend of mine from the days of my living in Texas for almost four decades. A man who embellished the surgical world in America with almost 1400 cardiac surgeries done so successfully robotically, looked towards the East just like me as to what he can do for his motherland our mother country. His zest, his passion, his commitment to be innovative has brought us all together today, not only just in celebration of what he has done, but also looking into the future, where we are heading. The history of robotics is like a tale or a story as a matter of fact, it can be an epic novel. Since the times of 1960s, where the first thought process was generated by the surgeons of how to improve surgical precision, how to advance surgical assistance in better fashion, robotics were ultimately born. We thank America for this, the largest agency in America, which is the United States Defense Agency that took upon itself for the purposes of robotic surgery to use in the battlefield and its collaboration with various private agencies for decades where the concept went on being refined. You might all be wondering who actually coined the term robot. It was a Czech playwright called Karl Pepek in the very early 1920s, looking at the factory workers in Czechoslovakia. He called or used the term robot. And subsequently, in the classic novel of iRobot, which was published by Isaac Asimov in 1942, who goes on to enlighten, enlighten the world about the prospects of robotics in human civilization. A fantastic book to read at the end of the day. It was Asimov's work where he has glorified robots in a positive sense and its prospects. Asimov gave three Robotic laws out of two absolutely remain applicable in today's robotic science. The law number one, do no harm with the use of robots by injuring anyone. Law number two, by inadvertent use of a robot, do not cause any dismay, but a robot has to be under the control of human command. And these two laws are indeed, in all of innovations of the robotic world, are followed. 
The first robotic system, which was called Shaky, was invented by the Stanford Research Institute. And interestingly, it was called Shaky, but the robotic system was shaking. Stanford truly has contributed enormously for the next three to four decades until it led to a final culmination of a private company with a commercial production that Intuitive has stepped into. The work of several decades of so many people behind the robotics has paved way to where the science of robotics and achievement of robotic instruments and robotic machines are playing a pivotal role. Just to get back a little more into the history of robotics, I'm sure many of you are familiar, the first robotic surgery was performed by Dr. Jacques Limpen Himpens from Belgium in 1997, who did a robotic cholecystectomy from the intuitive surgical equipment, which was then called MONA. It was very unfortunate that when Jacques Himpens wanted to publish this in the New England Journal of Medicine Lancet, it was not accepted because I think the robotic sur surgery was not very familiar to perhaps the authors, or maybe Mona was not called Mona Lisa. But very interestingly, Dr. Jacques Limpens persisted. And the very next year, 1998, he did the first robotic bariatric lap band surgery, which was then published in this uh, International Journals of Repute. Since then, of course, the rest of the history, all of you are familiar that today, there are 6,000 robotic machines which installed in the United States of America alone. And with the advent of SSM mantra in India, which is gradually spearheading with its innovative technology, I find that this is true call in the world where robotic systems can be expanded at a massive scale for the simple reason. When you can sell a machine for five crores, at the end of the day, when something is being sold for 15 to 18 crores, obviously, this is technological disruption. And such disruptions we have always appreciated in humanity when it can reach to the mass, vast masses of human civilization. India alone with 40,000 hospitals at the end of the day, barely there are 60 to 80 robotic systems at a time when the success of robotic surgeries has been weighted to be close to 93%. As Vincent Churchill once said, the blood, toil, tear, and sweat sacrifices or such sacrifice leads to many great achievements in this world. So such was the story of Dr. Sudhir Srivastava. His blood, toil, tear, and sweat that led to the building up of SSI Mantra with 80% of the Indian products today is something amazing and spectacular. And we should all give him a thunderous applause for this. We have installed this robotic system almost 13 months ago at Continental Hospitals, a tertiary and quaternary care institute in Hyderabad. We have done close to 60 robotic surgeries today in a very short span of 10 to 11 months. Our robotic surgeons, both in surgical gastroenterology and urology, and have taken this forward. Certainly any new innovation will have some glitches, but as long as the purpose as long as the commitment and passion that remains to continue to innovate and continue to improve, there should be no issue at all. I'm extraordinarily confident the pricing of this system, the technological innovation, its ability to compete on the World Forum, you know, that SSM mantra will truly lead as a robotic system of choice in the near future. I commend all of you who are attending here with your great interest to participate in the deliberations and also in the live surgical cases for the next two days, that you'll go back home with an extraordinary impression of this robotic system and encourage in our journey of innovation in life. Just like when laparoscopy came into advent, many of us criticized it is but human nature not to accept something that is innovative at the beginning. Whether it was breast lumpectomy, or whether it's using of mesh in hernia surgeries, or whether use of laparoscopy for various types of surgical gastroenterologic procedures, the community of surgeons did not accept it. 
And this has happened all through my journey also as a physician, where I spent more 40 years in Houston, Texas. So given guest opportunity, and given we have an Indian innovation, I applaud again the entire team of Dr. Srivastava and look forward to one of the finest robotic systems where it can be used anywhere and across the world. I once again thank you and thank the organizing committee for giving this opportunity to reflect my thoughts about robotic surgery and SSI mantra and the journey of Dr. Srivastava. Thank you all. That was Dr. Gurunath Reddy. I would now like to invite Dr. Anadurai once again for a few words.